This time you're joining me on my quest to win the 2019 World's Fastest Gamer competition, uh, World's Fastest Gamer Season 2, and I'm currently in the UK in Heathrow, flying over to Denver, then to Las Vegas. So the trip's going to be mad. Uh, thank you for interrupting Tanoid, so I really appreciate that. But we are going to six different racetracks across California, and it's over two weeks. So. I have no idea what to expect, we've been given no itinerary and it's just a case of winging it. We wake up every day and find out what we're doing on that day. So I ain't got a clue what's going on really. I'm just bloody excited, ready to get going, uh, about to board the plane and I'm just going to take you through the journey as best I can, review it every three or four days with all the footage from each day. Yeah, enjoy. We are here at the hotel and I came last night, been up 24 hours so I was knackered. We went to the strip in Vegas actually, it was, it was good. Yeah, today is quite simple really, it's just a media day so nice and easy, easing us into it, getting over the jet lag and then I believe uh, tomorrow it kind of all starts, it officially kicks off as the world's fastest gamer competition so uh, we're taking it by a day by day basis really, we don't know the schedule, they're going to tell us every morning what's happening on that day. which is. I, I like it, I think it's quite spontaneous, I think it keeps everyone on their toes, uh, it means no one can practice for anything really, so yeah, it's going to be weird, but um, yeah. So I mean a pretty cool aspect of this entire trip is the fact we're going to so many different places, we don't know where we're going, we don't know where we're staying, and we may as well try and keep track of where we're staying. So I mean hotel number one behind me, the Embassy Suites Hotel in Las Vegas, and we only stayed there last night, we're staying somewhere else tonight apparently, but it's still in Vegas. So yeah, I mean we may as well try and keep track of where we're going. I think it'd be quite cool at the end of it to then reflect on, you know, if we stayed in 14 different hotels. I mean I doubt it, but the way it's going, it could be a possibility. And I had a nice spray tan this morning, never had one before. And it was one of the most bizarre moments ever. We had a meeting in front of the table, uh, all of us, all of the drivers, and they were like, hello, welcome to the competition. And by the way, today you're going to have a spray tan. And then I was like, <laughs> no, seriously, what are we doing? No, you're having a spray tan. Oh, okay. Uh, fair enough. And to be honest, it's a blessing in disguise because I think it looks great. So we're at hotel number two. And uh, I mean, there's only really one thing I can show you that describes how good it is. James, what up? Hey Camille. Hello, Camille's girlfriend. You're on camera. Oh, we're at the wrong orientation. <laughs> right, so you can really barely see me right now, but I'm enjoying the view, so you have to bear with me. Uh, tomorrow we have been told we're waking up at 5.30 a.m. Don't know where we're going. Hints that we're going to a racetrack, so whether it might be the first bit of driving we do for the whole tour, I don't know. No one's really told us, but to be honest, I hope it is, because I think we're all getting a bit bored of not driving, although this is amazing. Uh, we just want to get on and do what we do best. So, time to go to sleep, it's 11 pm, and uh, we'll get a bit of sleep ahead of tomorrow where hopefully we we'll do some driving.
Hello again. Day one officially, but day three in America. So it's starting to ramp up now. We're, we've driven a few cars this morning, found out what the car is for the competition, like the primary car everyone's going to use. Uh, it's some sort of race built with a car with a Renault engine, sequential gearbox. You know, it's, it's nice. It's, it's fairly quick. We just did some low speed stuff with it to get used to the car. I drove a Nissan GTR this morning, which will make my brother in law extremely jealous. Ross, if you're watching, I hope you are jealous. And of course, we stayed at the beautiful. Hotel yesterday with that amazing view. Today we're at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I mean, I can actually say where we are now because obviously this video is going to go out later. Uh, it's only on Twitter and Instagram. I can't say where we are in case people come and interrupt the competition. So, uh, yeah, as I say, are we going to stay here? Are we going to go to another track? I heard we're going to go to Laguna Seca, Sonoma, uh, Thermal. There's loads of tracks we're meant to be going to. It's just a matter of when. All we need to do now is go out there, get used to the car, and I believe we found out that there's going to be four finalists. So uh, those four finalists will race each other in the cars we're practicing with all week. So it does seem like we're going to be at this track all week. We could be going from track to track. As I say, we don't know the itinerary, but we do know that those cars are integral to the competition. So I need to go out there, learn it fast, and uh, yeah, see what happens, really. We are having a more chillax day, to be fair. We had a bit of a sim test earlier on our Factor 2 and it uh, went pretty well. Uh, it was basically to monitor the cognitive side of things, how much your brain thinks and focuses while you're doing a task and your heart rate as well. And we just did more cognitive stuff. So it's more like a fitness test today, really. You could say not pure fitness, but like mental fitness and heart variability and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm not really used to it, so uh, I'm a bit out of my comfort zone, but it's all part of the growth. Uh, I've set my benchmark stuff down, as we all have, and we're going to see if we can progress over the next week or two. The sim stuff felt good. The driving, obviously, came very naturally. So, uh, yeah, and the cool thing is, the studio we're at is the studio used in the Batman Dark Knight film for the parking lot where he keeps the Batmobile, which is it's so cool. I mean, I love that film, first of all, but to be there is just so weird. Um, but yeah, so we're going to finish this day off and I believe, well I don't know, but I think we may be back in a car tomorrow, so let's hope so. Okay, so uh, I've been a bit bad. I've not vlogged for the last two days because I've been very intense, but uh, let me catch you up. So uh, basically, yesterday we were at Thermal Racetrack, which is an exclusive racetrack in the middle of the desert and in California, obviously, and people fly in, million dollar apartments, and they race their own supercars around this track. Awesome track. And I effectively, we had three sessions, 15 minutes, two with the instructor, and then one on your own. And I believe I was uh, the top two with Seb. So me and Seb finishing the top two again. So you could kind of see it slowly turning into a two horse race uh, if people don't start to improve. So in that sense, it's getting intense. So today we've moved on to Willow Springs, which is about 120 kilometers from uh, Thermal. And I just done one session this morning. The track is the best track I've ever driven, ever. It, it, honestly, I mean, I'm, you can see it right there. Unbelievable, high speed, bumpy. It's basically where men were made, I think, back in the 50s when they started racing. I felt like a man because I had a little nosebleed in my session, which was a bit annoying, but the uh, session went well. Uh, the instructor, Doreen, uh, said I was fairly near the limit already, which is a bit concerning because it's hard to improve from there. But, uh, so we're gonna do two more sessions here today in the same WFG cars, uh, the Mad, I can't remember the name, Mad Tex? I can't I'm not going to pretend like I know it because I forgot it, but yeah, after that, I believe Laguna is on the cards. Don't think Solomon is on the cards anymore, but uh, as I say, you know, 
from earlier. Uh, we don't know where we're going, so, so yeah, let's finish off with Willow Springs. Beautiful, beautiful desert. Quite similar to the sim as well, Gran Turismo, not completely immersive, but it's not bad. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue to do well. Hello.